Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn that how you can use round formula in an Excel file. Basically, I am going to explain different round formulas like round, round up, round down, okay. So, before I start, I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications. Also, please do comment if you like this video, okay, and do share this video with your friends also. Now let's understand what do I mean by round Excel formula. So on my screen you can see these numbers like 7745.23 but when you click on this cell you can see it is still 232 okay. So before I start talking about round formula I want to tell you that I have used the number formatting to make it till 2 decimal okay. So it is getting displayed to me but at the back end it has 3 decimals okay. So when you use number formatting you can increase or decrease the decimal by clicking on this option like if you want to increase the decimal you just click on this and it will be increasing the decimal okay. And if you want to decrease the decimal you can just keep clicking on this and it will show you this. But at the back end you can see it is still has the same decimals. So to like work with this or to like remove these decimals because sometimes your calculation may not be correct okay and you want to correct those calculations. So in that case what you need to do you need to use round formula to make it correct okay. So like to limit it till the specified decimals. So what you need to do you need to write round formula here and once you type this equal to round and bracket on and once you do that it will be asking two arguments okay one is number second is the num digits you can either uh, select the cell or you can write the number directly in the number argument okay then put comma and in the number digits uh, how many decimals you need you just need to specify that okay so if you like put this a4 okay i select it and then num digits okay num digits like i just want to use one and i press enter okay i can see it is showing me 7745.2 now if we change this to value place a special value you can see that it has removed the decimal so that is the benefit of using the round function if you want to like put it till two decimal places similar method put two and press enter now you can see it is showing the same number now it is asking me to round to the nearest whole number okay in that case what you need to do you need to type round select the number because i don't want any decimal it should be zero zero so i will be using zero so it will automatically round off the number to the nearest whole number okay and now you can see 7105 so suppose if this number is not 30 or it is might be 60 okay so it will be changing it to 7106 so if any decimal is above 0 0.50 then it will be like taking the next number if it is below 0 0.50 it will be taking the below number okay so that is how this works now we are going to talk about how you can round to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, this 10,000. So in that case what you need to do, you need to type round, okay. A simple trick, okay, you select it, in the number digits, you it will be starting from minus 1. Okay? So what do I mean? You need to type minus 1 and so right now we have 1, 0, okay, that will be minus 1. If you have 2, 0, you will be typing minus 2, okay, and it will be rounding the number to the nearest 100. So press this, you can see 5340. Now if you want to use this, select the number and now I want to round it to the nearest 100. I'm uh, just selecting the number and the number digits, I can see I want like two zeros, okay. So I can put minus two, press enter, it is showing me 6400, okay. Hope you like this. Round again, select the number, in the number digits, uh, there are three digits, uh, minus three okay press enter it is showing me 3000 and if you want to like go to 10,000 type round select this and minus 4 okay and now you can see 10,000 so that is how you can use round excel formula now we are going to talk about round up round up will always round off the number to the next number okay so there is only one difference okay? you are just rounding the numbers to the next number in the round down you are just rounding the number to the below value okay or the down value you can say so you'll be typing a round up select this number okay and you want like one decimal place play with this and press enter now it is showing me 7745.30 okay so it is like uh, putting 232 or 2.3 okay that is the next number if you want to use two decimals just select round up select the number or you can put two and just press enter okay so hope you are understanding this method 
so let me use the same method for other cells also round up to the next whole number okay so i'm putting zero here and pressing enter now you can see it is showing me 706 okay it is not showing me 7005 so the limitation of 0.50 if you want to play with that limitation you can use round up and round down okay similarly you can do this for round to the nearest 10 so it will be taking the next number next 10 okay so you select this number 5341 it will not be showing me 5340 so a7 then you have this minus 1 press enter so you can see it is showing me 5350 okay so that is how you can play with these formulas and i hope that these formulas are very important hope you agree with this so let me change it to minus three minus four and now it is working good and if you want to go uh, just want to give you a trick if you want to go in the edit mode of any formula in a cell you just press f2 function key okay and it will be uh, showing you the edit mode and then you can change the formula similarly uh, i will be just copying these formula and uh, pasting in the round down because i'm using the same thing and i will be using this cleaning option and if you want to learn more about how you can clear your data and how you can play with your data very fast you can watch my another video like 10 tips of cleaning excel data okay so i pasted the same formula round up now i want to convert it to round down so what i'll be doing i'll be selecting all these cells pressing ctrl h okay and uh, just writing up and here replace with down and replacing all so it will be changing the argument okay so you can see round down here and it is showing me the result so here we can see it is rounding it down to the 0 0.20 0 0.27 and uh, 5340 you can see this and especially here 5239 okay we were showing 10,000 earlier now it is showing me zero so if it is below 10,000 it will be taking the, the down value number okay so that is how these functions work. Hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends. And also do not forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you.